Hello and welcome to the morning show. My name is Jimmy, joined by Matt. This is morning, the morning meeting, building John Boy Media. It's opening day, so there's some natural excitement in the office. I'm wearing a Yankees jersey underneath this hoodie. Maddie's wearing a Yankees jersey. I saw a bunch of other jerseys in the office. It's jersey day. The players will be wearing their jerseys as they play. And we're going to be on mic and camera all day. So I was telling Katie because I'm, I feel better today. Yesterday, I felt like I was in a dream all day, like asleep. I've been fighting some like mild allergies or sickness. I don't know. I've been tired. And I was like, well, yeah, today me and Maddie are doing morning at like 9 a.m. And that's going to go into Talking Yanks at 10. And then I have two hours of rest. And then from 1 to midnight on camera recording you plan to be here the whole time yeah nice except my i have to get my car at 11 out of the garage and then move it to somewhere else yeah so if the 10 p.m games are shitty after for 45 minutes i don't know who they are yeah maybe i leave but i wanted i want to be here the whole time i'll be here yeah we should have our all of our in new york personalities in right yeah uh yeah depending on if any of them had to leave early but uh everybody should be here for the full run um i know dalton is very excited about the late game because i believe the diamondbacks go late um yeah dodgers diamondbacks are at 10 o'clock same with angels a's and uh guardians mariners hmm so, yeah, so a lot of people should be here. There's murmurs of a sleepover. Who's so sleeping over? I said there's murmurs. Who's murmuring? Maybe me. Wow. Maybe Zach, Sam, oh, okay. Dalton. There's murmurs, that's all. Giant slumber party? Right. Okay. Yeah, There's at, at one point there's um, going to be six games on. Yeah. At the same time. Can there be? We have seven TVs. Can there be seven? On at the same time? No. Six. And I would have to go like Extras. wild extra innings. Mm-hmm. Are you sure about that? No. Okay. Right. At four o'clock, one, two, three, four, five games start at four. There can be seven on. If the 220 Cubs Brewers game goes long, they got the pitch clock. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be two hours. Oh my God, that's going to be exciting. See how people react to that. So we have six TVs and we have the MLB package this year. Last year we had to do, well, we have seven TVs, but the seventh doesn't have chat. Ca- cable. It's going to be for the chat. Yeah, yeah. But that will be exciting when there's six games going mm-hmm. on and then you can just like get rid of them. And we'll have different people around. I, I mean, um, we got ice or Red Sox fans. Not that they, they don't like uh, want to like host a Red Sox stream, but mm-hmm. they are Red Sox fans. Uh, but they'll be in there for that. They played the Orioles at two. That'll be at the same time as the Yankees one, which will obviously me and Jake and Joe's will be there. What else do we got? What other fan bases do we have? Jolly's here for the Mets. And the Mets play at their four o'clock, right? Yeah, four o'clock versus Marlon Scherzer, Alcantara. That's a fun one. Um, Dalton, Diamondbacks. Not necessarily on Is air, Nikki coming today? I'm not sure, but. Yeah, I think that's like the main fan base is covered. Yankees fans, Mets Kenobi fans. Yankees fan. Yeah. I mean, there's other fan bases in the office, but. Yeah. Yeah, Mitch's Reds are playing. Why did they only put one game at seven? You have to watch that. Astros, White Sox. Well, that's the ESPN game. Yeah, but we can't have an, another game on any other time. No, that's how those contracts work. Jeez. So, like, ESPN pays for the exclusive game. I see. So, you know, Sunday night you can't have just another one going. Like, they they pay to have a standalone. No competition. Well, there's one White Sox fan here. Who's a White Sox fan in the office? New graphic design intern, Gavin. Oh, really? Is he a big White Sox fan, or is he just like, I'm a White Sox fan? Well... I don't know. You don't know? No, no, no Okay, no, don't no, speak don't for know. him. No, right, right. We'll find out today. Yeah. If he's here, you want me to yell and ask him? No. Right. But that, but it's going to be fun. I think at one point during the stream, if it's like really busy 
and we have a, enough people in there. The, my goal is I didn't like that people are in there. Yeah, people will be in there streaming and grinding um, with everyone. But if Joe's and I can sneak out to record two Gaga's game because the rest of the room is full. Oh yeah, but I, I don't, don't want it. Gonna be I don't want. I don't want it to be a rotation where everyone's trying to sneak out and do stuff. No, no. But no. I also didn't say that. So I don't think an experiment. it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be everybody wants to be in there. You think so? Yeah. I hope so. Are you excited about anything particular today? Volpe. Yeah, I'm excited for Volpe's first at bat. Did you read the uh, June Lee article? I tweeted it out. I read what you tweeted, and then I didn't click the link. His so. dad was a WFN caller. Yeah. So his parents, his parents are like aware of what if he's not good. Mm-hmm. They're like very aware of that because they were diehard fans. Yeah. They, his mom and dad would sleep in line for playoff tickets. Yeah. And he was grew up a fan. Yeah, I, the the laying out the jerseys slash jerseys was cool. Yeah. I just wa- watched one of those dumb Instagram stories where they have, it's not dumb, but whatever. It's like a motivational one, blah, blah, blah. And it was like the difference between a uh, uh, amateur and a professional. Right. You know, one of those quotes mm-hmm. in the show is like, uh, amateur does something until they get it right. A professional does something until they can't get it wrong. <laughs> Which is good. It's a good message and all that. I agree with it. But uh-huh. like, it's just like, ugh. Don't bottle it up and sell it to me like your Hallmark. But anyway, then in that June Lee article, they say that he, Volpe, used to go to the field with his dad, and they wouldn't leave until he got 100 grounders in a row. Oh. And I was like, shit. I'd like, I like watched that Instagram, and then I read that article back to back, and I was like, oh, well, let's go hand in hand. Yeah. That's pretty much there. That's fun. Yeah. And then his grandparents were in the war. And... World War Two, and I was like, "That's crazy that he and his grandpa uh, moved from Italy to the U.S., which is very similar to, um, well, actually, my great grandpa." And I was Wait like, "That's," minute. I was like, "You're too young to have that, because your parents are the same as my, like his parents and grandparents, are the same as my parents." And then I do, re- then I realized I have a 22 year old brother, or maybe Luke's 23 now, and he's 21, so. Uh, he, his parents just must have had him later in life. That's well. They're surgeons, so maybe they were getting their career on. Hmm. Grew up in New York City and then moved to New Jersey, I think. Yeah, I mean, what's that president that has two living grandsons right now? Polk or Tyler? Tyler. One of the boring ones. Tyler. There's that stretch of real boring. T- uh, Taylor, Tyler, Polk. I think it's Tyler. And he had a kid when he was 70, and then that kid had a yeah. kid when he was 70, yeah. and now those people are 90. Yeah. I think Polk's actually, like, a cool president. I think he did his four years. He was like, I want to accomplish three things. Checked him off his list. Left. And that was talking politics. No, talking history. Oh, yeah, it's different. Yeah. Right. I don't like politics. Never did. Current affairs, that's more like politics. So this is... Old politics. Yeah. History is just old politics. Uh, Fayel said Polk was cool. So confirmed. Confirmed. Um, I forgot about the chat. I should open that up. What's up, chat? We got some stuff we're going to chat about today. Yeah. And, and also the people that are listening on the YouTube and they're listening on uh, any of the podcast apps that either can't have AMP because it's only available on iPhone and in the US, I believe, and that's yeah. not our doing. But also... Uh, or just don't have the time to tune in. We did a very unique AMP live session this week as the second oh, yeah. show. We just turned AMP on during one of our meetings. Yeah. And you had to listen in. Yeah. If if you have the ability to tune into AMP, the, now moving forward the next few weeks, the second episode is going to be AMP only. Yeah, and the last three episodes have done decently well on, on YouTube and the podcast app that – even if we don't re-up AMP, I think we'll stick to one more in a week. We'll just have to fix. Try. We'll just try. Yeah. And try to make them good shows with good topics or maybe some guests, guests. and talk about some behind the scenes stuff. Because the last episode did well and it wasn't even a big hook. Mm-mm. Right. Uh, your new role was the title. Yeah, but. No, it's not. But it was like no we guest. Were. Like the other uh, one was like the Boone announcement and Trev. Yep. And it still did decently well. Um, 
in terms of a small show on the network doing mm -hmm. like well enough to continue it. So I think that's good news and we're excited about that. Yep. And then we don't want to like mess up the average by doing the second show and it just being kind of a yeah mess around. So the last two weeks, there's been one live session on AMP that gets reposted and repurposes and another one that doesn't lives and dies on AMP. So if you have the ability to get AMP and if you don't, I apologize if you want to tune into those and you can't, but it's, again, not my, I don't work for AMP. Yeah, this today's episode. I'm gonna try right when we're done. Just go and post it because it's opening day. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Get the good vibes. That's smart. And our billboards up. Speaking of good vibes, yeah, that was a topic you had on here to discuss. Yeah, we can discuss that. Joe's. I mean, before you got here, I was listening to Joe's on his amp, and he was driving around the billboard and was not happy. He was not happy. I don't. Yeah, I don't know why, but he wasn't happy. Why? Exactly. I don't. I don't get it. His name's on the uh, billboard. That's bad. My name's not even on that billboard. Mm -mm. Um, Sarah Allen, how are you? Hope the boys are doing well. Can't wait to hear Good Vibrations cover. Yeah, I'm excited about that. What are your thoughts on Franchi? Uh, we're going to do Talking Yanks soon, but like no real thoughts on Franchi at all. Just seems like whatever he'll have to force me to have thoughts um all right what uh billboard went up it's pretty funny got a good reaction yeah i didn't know what the reaction was going to be on the internet but people seem to like it a lot i mean there was someone posted it to like the yankees subreddit which always gets interesting reactions because it's not like you know on our social pages those are people that follow us there it's kind of like there's a lot of people that don't follow us aren't in the nuance and like hey look at this so you get you get insight into that i'm very interested about people that just drive around the bronx that aren't yankees fans have no idea who we are and see it because there's some like weird ones on there yeah I'm, i thought that obviously i thought the joes was going to get a big reaction but the spit in my mouth got even bigger, I think. Yeah, that was interesting. I guess we're just so used to that, right? Yeah, that saying doesn't do Jake anything said that me. in 2018, I believe. Spit in my mouth, let's go Yanks. And it's we've had it on shirts. We've said it that we're like Im Im immune to it. When he first did say it, I think it was something. People were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's on the billboard. What was the thought process like? Was this the first billboard idea, or did you like go through others? No, but I, I did. I think we workshopped a bunch on here because I still liked doing the who's the real MVP, and it was judges stats versus Jake splits ball battle one stats right. with like silhouettes of their swings. But we thought people might just think that was like serious and not understand, or like take it as a shot at judge. Yeah, which it's not. Um, our thought process was the players drive under the billboards. So what could we do to like make them kind of shake their head and be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, so yeah, it happened really quick. I mean, we had to get all the, we had to get it down like really quick. I remember. Yeah. And we wanted to find little benign quotes. Like the, I think the first quote was the Higgy one. Cause it's real. That's one of the real, there's like three real quotes on the billboard. One of them is Higgy saying, I'm not much for small talk. And that was when we interviewed him in 2019, I think, spring training of 2019. And then we were going to try and find other ones. And uh, then we were like, let's just make him up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one that says the captain. Yeah. Is that meant to be Jeter or Judge? It doesn't say the captain. It says captain, right? I don't know. Um, who knows? It's just a captain. Yeah, it could be captain of a ship. Right. Or uh, anything. Right, right, right. I wanted to say the captain, but then I think Jake said he liked it just saying captain. Yeah. And, like, it doesn't say Rizzo. It just says that Riz. It says Riz. Because who knows who that is. Big G. Big G. That could be anyone. We did talk to Big G yeah once so and he stood next to us so that could be real what were some of the, uh Booney did it just say manager next to, mm -hmm. obviously you just said manager. you can't use their names yeah just if anyone manager. doesn't understand what's happening yeah. here <laughs> so it just says manager yeah 
And then Jake's mom. Jake's mom is on there. Joe's. Yeah, I think Jake's mom, originally Jake had that quote saying, Jake, you could play center field for the Yankees. And then he was like, again, like didn't want them to perceive that as a, a shot at center fielder. Right, right, right. So it was just like, Jake. You're good at baseball. You, you're, yeah, you good at baseball or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it kind of it was an easy one. And then I didn't want our pictures on there. And I don't think there was any like question about uh spit in my mouth. Let's go Yanks. Like I don't I saw some people saying like people sat around a table and decided if they should put this on a billboard. I think that was just like a yeah, that's going to go up there. Mhm. Duh. What's the big quote say? We like these guys. Yeah, so originally I had that as my quote. Like, I like, I like, I like this team, mm. and then, and then I think Jake put both of our names on there, and then I was like, "We'll just say talking Yanks or something," and that's the big one. I like these guys. It's a good selling point. Yeah, we do. We're fans. I still want to. I want to use that uh, the Australian cricket podcast, the great cricketer. They say uh, the team that we support sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, funny. And it makes me laugh every time. Um, not to throw us completely off topic. I'm pretty off topic because country. I can't get logged in. Yeah, you can't log into anything. You said another country, which reminded me I didn't even get to talk to you about how excited I was yesterday. I annoyed some other people in the office because I kept talking about it. Okay. We got the multilingual. Yeah, you slacked me about that. So do right. we still need to have someone record it? So what this means, I watched the, the YouTube's official video on it. We're part of, like, the beta. Not every channel has it, apparently. And they gave it to us because we asked. And we can now, under the subtitle section on YouTube, you could press add language. And normally we can just do type our own subtitles in other languages. That's apparently always been there, which... We should probably discuss if that makes sense to do. But now we have the option to add alternative audio in another language. And that video will then get pumped to native Spanish speakers, native Japanese speakers, all of this stuff. The one that excites me is the cricket breakdowns. Yeah. Get them voiced in Hindi and oh. put that up. So, so we have to find idea. a we have to find a voiceover guy. If we want to test the waters with Joe's, I think it's funny, but in Spanish, yeah, or Hindi, but probably Spanish. Probably Spanish. Okay, I'm excited about that. And then, do we upload a separate audio track? Yeah. Are you on YouTube's back end? Also, they gave it to us for every channel. We only asked for it on main. So, talking baseball, Joe's can sit there and do three voices in Spanish for an hour. <laughs> wow i mean stats that exist some of the there's a i i only checked talking baseball in maine but once i saw they gave it to talking baseball i kind of assumed that meant they gave it to all of them how do i check it out do i go to a certain video yeah so go to any video on the main channel edit it like go into edit it go into and editor the subtitle okay. on the left yep add language then choose one of those hit spanish and will it do subtitles for us? No. So and if we upload another audio track, we have to type subtitles. But we can just upload the audio. Like, we don't have to put it. So I added Spanish. Okay, you see it now? On oh, the, now there's an add and then select file. Yes. So we upload an MP3 and it will, and we could do the title description in the second. Whoa. Column, subtitles. We need to do this. We don't have enough people, but. But I think we try with Joe's. And if the video is like, oh, here's another million views, then it's like, okay, let's start taking this more serious. Yeah, I tried to do this, but but it is tough because I voice over. So No, that's like, better. Like someone has to I, – I mean, I don't read a script. Yes, but so – Someone has to write down what I'm saying. Yes. But it's better that your face isn't there because, like, Joe's can cut and, like – Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But – yeah, but I get what you're saying. It's a little more of a process because someone's going to have to write down what I said and kind of like in the cadence. But you can give Joe's kind of a template of it. 
if he even wants to do this. Yeah, we could also freelance it to somebody that speaks Spanish. And is like a professional yes, voiceover, voiceover person. Yeah. And see if Joe's is interested. Even doing subtitles, we would have to do it ourselves too. Yes. So. Ooh, the lineup is out for the Yankees. Right. So I'm going to read it, but I'm not going to give any reactions here because I got to do the pregame show. I told BBD, I said, I think they usually put it out early on. Um, uh, fucking. Wow. Okay. This is cool. The lineup's out. <laughs> exactly what I guessed. And everyone guessed. Not me. Not, like, I'm not special. It got to a point where like River Out Blues, Jack Curry, me, everyone was guessing the same exact lineup. Do you want to know? Sure. LeMayhew? Yep. Do you want to keep going or no? I'm not going to be good at this, but Judge? Yep. Um, playing center field. Judge is playing center field. Yep. Uh, is Stanton batting fourth and Rizzo third? So the... Rizzo, Stanton would be my next guess. Yeah, Rizzo third... Playing first, Stanton fourth, playing right field. Glaber. Donaldson fifth, which is what I said. They, they've they been doing that all spring, and they believe in him. He's playing third base. Glaber batting sixth. And mm. the thing is, um, Glaber's DHing, and LeMay, he's playing second, which some people had it switched. Uh, I think I had that switched as well. Uh, and then Cabrera is a starting left fielder. Trevino behind the dish. Volpe starting shortstop, and Cole on the bump. Nice. I think I would have just swapped – Donaldson and Kleber, but yeah, but then five six swap, you know, it's not that much. Mm -mm. Nice. Okay. Cool. I'm excited cool. about that. YouTube has been going crazy. I had such a good week last week with the World Baseball Classic into the Texas basketball shit talking. Yeah, that was. I didn't expect that one. That was nice. Yeah, that one did really well. Into even like fan, Schwarber hitting home runs off Darvish into the umpire and JT Romuto. Like just a crazy stretch, and I was very excited because I felt good. I was working at night. We talked about it on last week's show. And then over the weekend, I had um, I just been fighting some sort of like sickness, allergies, or, or um, my throat, like post nasal drip into my throat getting really sore. And I just been drained. So, I mean, I've been sleeping and it. And I've been upset because I've been trying to like change into baseball schedule where I'm up till midnight sleeping in. I think I have to have a hard cutoff that I'm not going to record anything before 10 in the morning now. Mm -hmm. So I can like stay up till midnight, mm -hmm. take the 814 train in, get here at 930. Right. And then so even morning we might have to find different yeah, we'll times. Yeah, we'll find a different time. And won't, won't be in the morning. Yeah. Because I need to be able to work at night because that's when I like – I'm like kind of racing the clock to midnight. Like I got to get asleep. Let's get this out. Like shut everything else down. Mm -hmm. um, and I haven't been able to do that this week because I've just been kind of tired um, and fighting off this thing. Like I went to bed last night at, I was in bed at six. I fell asleep at seven. Night before that, I was in bed at 5.30. Fell asleep at 6.30. Um, or no, Sunday. Sunday, I, I went to bed at 5.30. And I slept till uh, four in the morning. Yeah. And I still was tired. It kind of sucked. So I feel better today. This is the first day where I felt I was not like in a head cloud. So hopefully I get out of that and get on the schedule. But the fact that the Texas player talking trash video and then the real Mudo video did so well, it kind of was like, all right, whatever. At least, at mm -hmm. least those are accruing views. But it, they would be doing better if I kept going because the channel just came. But, yeah. But yeah. that uh, umpire video went on trending. I don't know how that works. Does that excite you? Really? Yeah. Oh, you don't know that? No. Zoe sent it to me, and then then someone from the sales team sent it. Yeah, it got to number well, – I don't know. How many I, views does it have? I don't know how uh, – on YouTube? Yeah. Because Kyle thinks it's going to be our biggest video across all platforms combined, yeah. but not biggest on a single platform. Oh, okay. 1.6 million views on YouTube. So, 
the trending page is always interesting to me because I know zero people that go and like, oh, let me see what's trending on YouTube. You, I don't do it. Nobody does. I don't know where to find it. Just main YouTube. Yeah, I think it's in the left column. It, just go to YouTube.com and it should be like subscriptions, trending, home, stuff like that. But no, I, I don't have that. Uh, so I don't know anybody that uses it regardless, but... Like, big YouTubers make a big deal out of, like, oh, I got on the trending page. Well, I think a lot of that is just easy way to market yourself. Hey, look, this video's doing well, you yeah. know? Because mm -hmm. I think maybe we did that from socials. I don't know. I didn't. I can't find it. I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube.com. Google YouTube trending. Maybe that'll get you there. Yeah, okay. Now, trending shorts, trending videos. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't like, oh, it's still there. What number? It doesn't have numbers the way it's showing me. Oh. And it's pretty far down, so. Uh, like, I don't know what that means, if anything. It's exciting, I guess, but... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. It's 29 right now. But yeah, it did really well. It did well. I mean, and then I don't have my Twitter right now because I'm out. <laughs> but I was making that Real Mudo one at night and I was texting Kyle and I was like, hey, get DraftKings to approve this right away. I think yeah. it's going to do really good if we send it tonight. Can you like... There's two different ways that we get approved by DraftKings. One is it takes longer. And I think I think there's a limit. There's like only a certain amount that we can ask for approval on the, the ad just to make sure that the – it's not like on the content. They can't – they're not allowed to change the content or what I say or what the topic of the video or any of that for those people being like, what approval? It's just to make sure I have the disclaimer right and it's the up-to-date disclaimer because there's so many, so much legalities around the disclaimer and how I say it and and what's shown on the screen behind the disclaimer and I can't, I, it's, I fucked it up so many times back in 2021 or maybe the start of 2022 that now we have to get them approved. But uh, there's two ways it works. One is like a quick one like, um, you know, our rep does like a visual test. And then the other is it goes to like their legal team or something like that. So sometimes, you know, Kyle will be like, it's not going to be approved until tomorrow when they are in office and can approve it. And then this one, I was like, Kyle, man, get it. Have this one be approved quick. tonight. Like have this be a quick one because we get this up tonight. We're going to still hit the buzz right now of it being big, especially on Twitter. I think that really matters a lot more. YouTube kind of too, but. And then they did. They approved it real quick. So we got it up like right after I was done making it. And, I mean, it was nuts. I was texting Kyle about it. Let me see if I can find that. Because after, like, let me see if I have this. Or maybe we were slacking, not texting. I mean, after... I think like 40 minutes, the numbers were crazy. I was like, holy shit, that is nuts. No. Huh? Oh, never mind. Oh, I didn't send him the tweet number. I said, look at the tweet numbers. Kyle said, this should get you to 500K on Twitter. And it did. Um, anyway, so yeah, breakdowns are going off. I'm excited. I want to do some tonight for and tomorrow for opening day. So hopefully we get some fun stuff, even if it's just like a comeback or like a shutdown inning by a pitcher. Yeah. Something cool to to build off of. And I'll, I'll try to be recording it as I can as we watch and have fun on the live stream. All right, the chat. Should I take some questions from the chat? Well, we also, we could look at the chat a bit. We also, I'm curious about the JM Gaming stream analytics. Talking about videos that did well, the stream did well for that channel. Let me pull that up. Do I have access to that? You have JM? You want mine? 
I might not have that. I thought I had access to that. Well, we re-divvied out all the access somewhat recently. Yeah. I guess then I would, I'm going to request access to it. So when MLB The Show came out, Jake and Joe's and then Zoe helped and then other people helped streamed for, I mean, it ended up being 16 hours long. Yes, over 16 hours. It was the longest MLB The Show stream on YouTube that, like, they didn't stop since the start and everybody else dropped off. When you look at it, it says ele- it says 12 hours, and it, but that's, like, it's longer than that, but that's the max time they put on the screen or something? No. <laughs> so we contacted YouTube about this the other day because I wanted to make it. They did two pack openings. I wanted to make a second video, but it was at hour 13. We said, YouTube, why is it only capping at 12 hours? They said, oh, well, when you stream longer than 12 hours, uh, there's about a 50-50 chance that we can't support it, like storage-wise, and we just cut it off at 12 hours. So that's what happened. The remaining four and a half hours, gone forever. Really? Yeah. There's n- literally zero way to access the remaining four and a half hours of that stream. Shit, man. That's crazy. Which, it's good that we know that now, but... Well, all right, so like, let's look at the data here. So after an hour and 13 minutes, the concurrence, which means like active watchers, ramped up a good amount. They must have been a tweet or they started something or that's a good time of day. When? An hour and 13 minutes in. So That's when the game dropped. They started at like 11 p.m. and the game dropped at midnight. Okay. So yeah, there you go. The game dropped and they jumped up. I mean, it's not for this and th- I guess people watching don't compare this to like the biggest MLB the show streamers. This is a new channel and we're trying to build it, but it's, you know, 600 concurrence, which is still crazy. I always say just picture that many people in a physical space. And it's a lot of people. Um and then they stayed above 500 for about an hour and 15 minutes. And then and then another big wave here. I mean, this is the middle of the night. I mean, you're looking at 3 a.m., which is now midnight East Coast time. So in the middle of the night, the lowest they got was 240, around 300. And then you can see people starting to wake up uh, hour nine of the stream, mm-hmm. climbing back up to 400. And then hour 13, 14 of the stream, 400 people. And now this is Friday at like 400, 500 or, or uh, like, yeah, 400 or 500. That's cool. So you had concurrence and it didn't drop low at all. It's pretty cool. And then the other numbers on a long ass stream like that are going to be kind of silly. Mm-hmm. 20,000 views, which is cool. Yep. 20,000 views, uh, 1.6 <laughs> unique viewers. 1.6? 1, 1,600. Uh, right. So people just kept coming back. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of low then. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't know how to compare 16 hours. Nothing to compare it to, really. You know what we can compare it to? When we did our winter meetings. Yeah. I'm curious about that. Because that was... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double laptop this. We did in 2020 since winter... Oh, my God. Since winter meetings was canceled in 2020, we did a... Um, we did like a what a nine hour live stream or I think it was ten. Was it ten hours? I watched. At this point, I wasn't working here. I was working my other job and listening the whole time. Really? Well, we had some pretty big guests. Oh yeah. Um, and it was a headache. Katie was really like helping out with that. Hmm. Let's see if I can bring this up. We have a lot of long streams on here. Jumbo Media Winter Meetings. 2020 so an eight hour stream seven hours 59 minutes views 51,600 okay now I want to check the unique viewers don't have it because it's so old (laughs) what the hell they don't have it they weren't tracking unique viewers no certain stats on YouTube are only available for the last 90 days once a video becomes 90 days old they kind of just like like all right we're not gonna have our shit keep track of that anymore right that's annoying then 
Let's see if there's any engagement. Watch time. Watch time is 2,000 hours. For this one, it was 13,000 hours. Um, I don't know if there's going to be comparable here. But audience-wise, on the JM Gaming one, we got how many subscribers? 800. Or 700 during the stream and then another 100 after is what I believe. Yeah, so their numbers on YouTube are a lie. It just says plus 17, but that's not true. Those are the people that click subscribe while on. While on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not an accurate. But 800 more subscribers? Yeah, we left that day plus 800 than what we were before the stream started. Well, that's good. And then... And then from there, you were able to make a bunch of clips from it, right? We made two long-form videos. Have those done well? For that channel, they've performed well-ish. They both are like two to 3,000. Yeah, 3,600 here. Right. So Monday through next Wednesday, we're dropping Jake's first Battle Royale, which is the series that consistently was between two and a half to 5k and MLB the show 22 not during drop week so I'm curious how those will perform and yeah there's talks of like doing a battle royale league so like Joe's Jake and Zoe compete and see who can get the most wins in a battle royale league do you think that that stream like what what's to learn from doing that then make content that nobody else is making the reason that I think that did so well is because we were literally the only channel on yeah. YouTube doing this. Do you think, stream. I mean, you kind of, I mean, don't go over 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> and or record it ourselves. We didn't record anything. So we could have recorded after 12 hours. And make way more clippable videos, like so way the, more tidy. We've known that forever. The problem with that, though, they made them, for lack of better words, but they got their ass kicked like game in and game out because it's like the early release you're yeah. literally playing shelfie every video yeah. so they we could make videos from it it's just they're gonna be lost 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 so we didn't well oh, why not i don't know did they not want it out there them losing it's just i mean they're not like the most energetic at 4 a.m losing six nothing but we can Yeah. Well, I mean, the the hours to views isn't, like, sustainable there. No. Like, you can't do that. You can't be like, well, let's do that again. And if you do it again, you got to go 12 hours or less. And you have to make really tidy videos. Yes. Because the editor's job has to be easy. Yes. I'm... After seeing what the stream did, I do think that, like, streaming on YouTube help that channel a little bit especially yeah. because we were doing we, it during unique. the playoffs we get a big boost on talking yanks tongue base when we live stream games too so i mean like you're saying I, I think that it's let's stream it like if we're in there playing it doesn't hurt to just hit the go live button if there's a plan of being in there for a little while i think that we stream but like the pack opening videos that they did during the stream they like started a youtube intro during it's like, Hey guys, we're here. Just do that while you're in there streaming too. And they did did they did that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would think you would need a formula like like a, just a real pre-production plan of like okay, we're doing 10 hours. That like means we video. need 15 videos. Yeah. Or whatever the number is. Yeah. And they literally have it like on a whiteboard in front of them so when they're sitting there like and then a timer so you can keep it super tidy cuz so the editor's job is literally just here's a start, here's the end. It's 15 minutes. Here you yeah. go. I agree. I think that when we do these, the producer, or if there isn't a producer in there, just keep notes during it so that mm -hmm. it's easy to go back and find. Um, cool. And then we have our 12-hour stream today on GM Baseball. Yeah. That should be fun. And are we moving Gaga's to GM Gaming? Eventually. I mean, when is JJR coming back? I think we should do it at the same time. Next week? So, I think next week. I think whenever the first JJR drops, that's when the 
Yeah, guys can go back to jam gaming. Because we're officially done with TPPs and PPPs. I need to go look at the schedule now, but we should have more open time. We filmed three Geogod guys yesterday, and then we're not going to, like, watching's going to take a break for JJR. And it's a new format of JJR. It's just me and Jake talking about news stories. We'll have Kenobio in, Joe's in, Paxton in, Jolly, Jaxo. Like, we'll have a rotating third certain times, but it'll be um topical viral trending topics that we riff off of yep that's the goal and shorter it'll be shorter Mm -hmm. and not live that channel can also have sporkles on there yeah yeah i'm excited to do jjr and that was when we did the watching the guy across the window I was like, we'll just talk. About, I'll bring up a news story. You bring up a story, and we'll, it'll be a micro JJR conversationally while we watch this guy cross away. Yeah. And some people commented that they're like, "This was basically JJR." I was like, "Yeah," because we're it's coming back. Mm-hmm. Did you watch that video? Beginning of it. Did uh, I want to read the comments? Hundred and sixty-eight comments on it. People have opinions when you stare at somebody, a stranger across the street. Holy shit. That's a lot of comments. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, for those that don't know, it's one out of ten right now on the channel. That's so funny. Just watch a person. It's it's a one out of ten. So it's uh, in the first 23 hours and 39 minutes, it's gotten double the amount of views the second highest video had in that amount of time that's crazy 170 comments people are upset not really most people get it and think it's funny and um and then there were some comments there that were people faking being very upset a lot of people wanted it to be a series One guy I responded to because he was so, he was like fake mad and he was like this is a sports co- channel and I was like no it's not yeah no sports no sports and then made Zach laugh it's pretty fucked up Zach's not mic'd up because I made him laugh really hard which then made me laugh then it looked like I'm just laughing at my own joke which I was but mostly it was because Zach laughed mm-hmm. um and it wasn't even a joke I just made just such a boring statement. <laughs> like a conversation killer of a line. And Jake didn't have anything to say in return. So then Zach laughed and then I laughed. Um, I've wanted to do this for a long time. Tried it in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that we did try it in Arizona. But that was our own people. Yeah. We were just watching people in the house. Uh <laughs> But this was, we were just staring at a guy across the street. Yeah. But I've wanted to do this for a long time, too. I think I've been saying, like, let's just look at that guy until he looks at us and call it watching people. (laughs) You were in the room for the Rourke story who edits those? Mm -hmm. He didn't ask a single question. Thanks, Espo. We just sent him the videos, and he edits all the watchings. And Zach just sent him the video and said... Hey, this one's a bit weird. We just look at a guy until he looks at us. Blur him. Can you blur him a little bit uh, so people can't identify him? And his only response was, thanks, Espo. (laughs) And then he edited it and put it up. (laughs) Just no. No reaction. Nothing. Zach Shapiro said, now this is content. Oh, that's funny. Should we talk about the Bronx office closing? Yeah, how about that? I didn't even get to go back. I'm going tomorrow. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Why? Well, my dad's visiting anyway, so we're doing like a Yankee Stadium tour. Yeah. Um, so I'll be two blocks away regardless. So are you going to the office? Yeah. We should all have access? Tomorrow's the last day. The very last day is tomorrow. So the people that are sleeping here tonight are shipping it up 
tomorrow to the Bronx, and we're all going to say goodbye. And yeah, there's not even a game tomorrow. We know. Well, Sam and Zach live there. And Sam doesn't live in the Bronx, but close. Yeah, close. Same. So you're going to have a seance mm. with the cockroaches and mice. I tweeted out, like, you know, there's a lot of good memories in the Bronx office, but there's a lot of memories. Like, I don't know. We were there for a year and a half. It was such a shithole. And it was almost like, uh, have you seen? <laughs> Have you seen the movie Room with Brie Larson? She gets kidnapped, and then the kidnapper gets her pregnant, and then her and her baby live in a shed in the backyard. Uh, and that's like the baby's, he's like eight when he, they break out. It's a true story. Right, yeah. Well, it's actually really cool filmmaking. They film it, so the room looks huge. And like he's doing calisthenics uh, and running because they, like, they remove walls and put the camera like at the edge of the wall. Uh, and then, and then there's a scene where they, she, they escape. Sorry, I'm spoiling the movie room and they go back and, and they see it. And the little boy and her are like, mom, like that's tiny. That's how I feel about the Bronx office. When I watch weekly dumbs from there, I can't watch them. I'm like embarrassed of it all. It's so tiny. All the cameras are blurry. My camera was 30 frames per second while Jake's was 60 frames per second. So I was always blurry and Jake was a little clearer than me. And it like is like embarrassingly tiny room. And part of me is like, I know there's a charm to that, but I didn't realize it looked like that Mm. at the time. I was just blindly proud. Like when you don't realize you have an ugly baby. (laughs) Yeah. And then the baby's 10 and actually cute. And you look back and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> you weren't that cute of a baby. Right. So I kind of look back at those videos and I'm like, oh, my God. Thank God we got out of there. Like, I don't think we were could have been taken serious if we stayed there. <laughs> I really don't think so. Yeah. The weekly dumb videos and some of those videos from that tiny fucking office Jake and I would film out of are n- bad. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking? Have you gone and looked back? Maybe you saw it like that at the time. Like that's, and maybe the audience saw it like that at the time. But I was kind of like ignorantly blind to how kind of bad the production quality was. But we were so proud of it because we did it ourselves. We didn't have any like. Mm -hmm. Let me let me go find like one of the early weekly dumbs. The first weekly dumb is all time. When the stickers are falling off? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was not planned. Yep. This is the week. And then I didn't realize how fat I was. It's just like not. You know what? It's just like my memory doesn't have these looking like this. So I guess it's more of a me thing. I was like, you know, when people... Um, you know how they say uh, women have like body dysmorphia and if uh-huh. they were to draw an outline of themselves, they always make themselves, if you're seeing that like fatter and then they're like, no, look. And then they stand and like your, your eyes is the complete opposite. Yeah. And then I look back and I'm like, whoa, this was really crappy. Yeah. Content itself. Like I think we're funny and all that, but like, I don't know. So yeah, I'm glad we moved out of the Bronx office. Yeah. I don't. I I hold nostalgia for a lot of things, but not right. really. Maybe you guys do because it was like your first like all hanging out together and shit. It was pretty crappy. Yeah, it was terrible office. It didn't make sense. There's no terrible like, layout. Yeah, there was no feng shui. No. The living room was like in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That front part was hot as hell. Yeah, so no one could be there. It, yeah. Half of the office was unworkable. Yeah. Because it was too hot. Because it was too hot, yeah. <laughs> Zero desks. Or there were desks. It's just you couldn't sit there. It became a storage room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or it would be where we would nap in between, yeah. like, you know, five hours straight, 20-minute nap, five hours straight. We'd turn the light off. It was a separate place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then we opened up the other one. Mm-hmm. And then it was just like we had like audio jack would just be alone by himself like all day. Yeah, sometimes people would be in that room 
and it would just be them. The people that worked out of that room, you don't really re- like. You feel bad. You like Diverso was out of that room a lot. Audio Jack was out of that room a lot. I think Prizeman was in there a good amount. Dafina was there. Jolly would be in there sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Courtney's had a desk set up. Like yeah, yeah. Her stuff. Yeah, she had a real desk. The uh, the AC situation was nuts. We just had the window units, mm-hmm. and if you were in the path of the AC, freezing, you'd be freezing. So when me and Jake would do talk at Yanks and stuff, we'd constantly be like, "Can you turn it a little bit that way?" You <laughs> and like, if the AC was blowing on my legs, I was freezing, and Jake was hot as shit because he wasn't getting any of the stream. <laughs> So we'd rotate and like, or like we'd try to put it so it was hitting like, you know, my inside leg and his inside leg. Mm. But then sometimes the AC would be on, but the window wouldn't be sealed. So you're like, what is hot air? Is it cold air? Like what's happening? Um, And they'd do construction and it'd just be like, or like they'd be playing music in the street, loud as shit. I don't know. It was pretty wild. The wildest part to me, and it's probably because like that's where I would sit. But we had seven people, at l- seven plus people, editing or working in the. That I mean, back room. It's like s- cut this room in half. Seven yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. I have a video. Like I have some videos. Like when I was just like taking video of uh, that setup. Yeah, it was like you know BBD Zach Sam, Katie a little bit, but then in that back row and the front row would be like four people there three people and then the one desk kind of just in the pathway where the pull-up bar is yeah just in the way (laughs) the neighbor like died one morning were you there that day no but you see how i'm like the first person that gets here yeah now oh i i would do that then but i'd for the first two months, I just didn't have a key. So I would wait and just sit in the hallway working. And then Sam would eventually show up. <laughs> I didn't have a key either. I still have one in my backpack. I still have one in my dresser. Yeah. The door like wouldn't lock half the time. And you, it, the locking mechanism of that door was stupid. Oh, you have to hit the inside. Yeah. Yeah. The bathroom was disgusting. The bathroom, the, the people across the way just look at your pee. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. I always said if the person across the way had a camera set up on the bathroom, right? They just had like all of our dicks. <laughs> yeah. like, the window stayed open all the time, and it's not like it was, uh, you know, a screen. Nothing. It was just the window. No blinds. Yeah. You were peeing directly at the window. Yeah. So the person like one flight up. Yeah. Or straight across the way, which existed, just a straight line, if they wanted to. Yeah, if they wanted to. And the bath. Tub, there's a bathtub in the bathroom was Gross. our storage storage paper towels yeah i showered in the other one i was gonna say if you showered in the actual no 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 no. but in the new office across right. the hall when we started doing back alley at bats right i'd be sweaty as shit yeah. and we'd like go to a yankee game afterwards or just try to work like the day we went to play at, at yankee stadium. Yan- old yankee stadium it's like 100 degrees yeah and we were outside playing, and I was, like, dripping sweat. I'd bring an extra change of clothes. I'd, but that shower had no hot water. Um, we didn't have any towels. Paper towels. Or soap. Right. So it was cold water, the hand soap oh. from the sink, and paper towels. I did that probably five times. <laughs> That's so and there was no like bath mat right so and the floor was disgusting so i'd stand on like my dirty clothes oh you know what i mean <laughs> to not yeah. put my clean feet on the the shower was disgusting yeah you, basically it was you should well the shower in. in the main space was like actually gross, like 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 the, the water would come out brown and sometimes the it would back up <laughs> Oh man, Did, were you ever there for that? I no. think Mario fixed that, but a couple times, like, just like sediment and like shit, just like backed up. Yeah, the best part about that was there was a sneaky third bathroom available downstairs. Yes, 
that certain people knew about and others didn't. And I, I think BBD was a big fan of that one. Well, if you have to take a dump, yeah. you better go down to the other one. Well, not everyone went down there. Uh, you should. <laughs> um, there was a few times the sink overflowed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the sink overflowed a good good amount. Well, office is gone now. Yeah, we were going to try and keep it as like a home base. I think Joe still used it sometimes. Well, they did the playoff streams. Yeah, that was funny. But it really wasn't worth it at all. It's not like it was a lot of money, but it was just like not worth. You kind of had to like upkeep it. Every time we'd walk every time you walk in, there'd just be like cockroaches everywhere. Take videos if you go tomorrow. I will be going tomorrow, so. It's a really weird place. It was just an apartment. Yeah, it's not an office. For anybody who thinks it's an office. No, it's just an apartment. The Riveras apartment. lived across the hallway in like a mirror. Yeah, same layout. But it like wasn't a real layout. It sucks as an apartment layout. Mine and Jake's office was a walkthrough. Yeah. So we we couldn't you couldn't shut the door. Yeah. Good and also more than just a walk through to your studio. They had the second door that actually just made that a hallway. Yeah, I eventually closed that. Put the whiteboard. Yeah, <laughs> the whiteboard there. It's like, we're done with this. Stop. Yeah. We'll take some videos. We did go to a lot of Yankees games that year. Yes. Because if it was a good game, a day game, and a good game, and we're like, oh, shit, let's go catch the last three innings. We just buy $10 tickets and then go sit wherever. But Jake went to a ton last year. He still lives in the city. And so did Joe's. It's harder for me. I want to go to more, but we'll see. I got to get my life and schedule in order and that stuff. Anything else that we got to talk about? No. I mean, I don't know what I... I don't really remember what I texted you at this point. But. Bronx office closing, live stream analytics, boxing combine analytics. How's that been doing? Take a look. I mean... The the video it, the fight video was a two out of ten the last time I checked, but that that channel's views we've got to we've got to shift because for that to be the two out of ten. Well, it still hasn't happened yet, right? Like the code names tournament is, but I know I, we got delayed because we lost announced coming it was the Sunday, f- start Sunday. That was like for me. The, oh, okay. That's the actual launching of this channel, and then hopefully we start doing bigger stuff like that. We had our game show planning meeting yesterday, which I think we actually made some decent headway. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Jake got boxed. It's funny. Pickleball. I feel like that could have done better. I agree. That got community posted to We Got Ice too. Did those do good on socials also? Sh- socials, Twitter is like kind of going off on the Twitter monetization and stuff. We're trying to crack that algorithm. I had a meeting with them and we figured, we think we've cracked a couple things, mm-hmm. but I got to check in. Like a Gaga's video went crazy yeah. and it it doubled from the last check in. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, we think it's the difference between vertical and horizontal. Yeah. They don't put ads on vertical videos. Yeah. And the way Twitter does it is kind of cool because if you follow the account, you're not really going to get the ad. Oh, okay. But if you don't follow the account, you're probably going to, they'll promote it onto your feed with an ad. Hmm. That's good. And you could even choose, like, post this on my feed, no, no ad. Post this as a promoted video for my account, but it won't go to my feed. So you don't an- annoy, I put in quotes because I don't think anyone gets really annoyed by a four second ad although some people try to act like they are but yeah so it's interesting interesting Uh, I think that that for you page is only going to be verified accounts moving forward as of like April 15th or something I saw that what do you mean the for you not the following like the other timeline that page is all. I just saw another guy die yesterday because I. It, uh, yeah, it it's always on, people it, die. It changed onto my thing. Yeah, it's just a feed of people dying. I I mean, 
But now it's only going to be verified accounts. But on Twitter, you could still pay for that, right? So what's the real difference? Yeah, they've kind of – not that it was great, but it was a tool that I used to see – make connections and, oh, they are – like I would go look at my verified notifications to see like what reporters or people in baseball or players followed or like then like build a rapport. Yeah. Um, and you'd still run into people that like – you know, you're like, oh, you, who are you? But now it's it's not worth, like, checking. I don't know. That's kind of an annoying problem for me to voice. Yeah. But, like, when you're in that arena, I guess, I like seeing, like, when I do, the, like, a cricket video or uh, the NCA, seeing what what big names from that area it got to. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you used to be able to click the tab that say like these verified people liked this tweet and then you'd click the list and it just show you all of them. Now you can't do that anymore. And I always like doing that because then you find out like um, who got you the views, yeah. right? Because someone big had to quote tweet it or retweet it that had like 500,000 followers or not and that's what helped blow this up. And I usually try to find them. Is then like they're big in that market. Let's try to like befriend mm -hmm. them or see if we can collab or whatever. And now it's it kind of you can't do that. Kind of it's kind of weird now. Same if I go to like um, verified followers, but maybe that for you is only going to be gold. Someone cool followed me the other day. Kyle texted me and said, hey, look who just followed you. It was Van Pelt, I believe. Yeah. And Sam Billings. You know, IPL starts tomorrow, Matty. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that's the show. I We talked about some stuff, and I didn't look at the chat enough, and I apologize for that, but it's opening day. And uh, also, you know, Maddie and I we talked about this, trying to condense our energy a little bit because we got yeah. a long, long day of opening day. We'll try to have a guest next week, or even if it's just like half the show, there's a, there's a guest, and we talk a little behind the business aspect of things. Um, and if you have any topics, uh, make a little timestamp here. Uh, for people and it's like uh, suggestions yeah. and if you have any questions or suggestions because you you can't join the amp live and be part of the chat but you want to ask a question or suggest a conversation or topic or guest um leave those in the comment section and we'll curate some interesting uh conversations around that for next episode all right jason is what's got a new song out i like it sounds like van morrison goodbye <laughs>